For the next few days, I'm living on a tree tent, but I'm thousands of miles from home in crocodile country. I'm searching for the big giant mud crab, living off whatever I can find here. This is unexplored territory for me, and around every corner, there could be something interesting. Is that a spider or a crab? I'm so excited about this one. Whoa, that's a big deep mud hole there. Oh. Oh. Holy shit! Oh, I almost got stuck there! Oh my god! Anyway, I'm gonna keep cutting towards the main river system and follow it out. The forest here is awesome. It's so nice, green, beautiful. Test for crocs. Mm. That scares the shit out of me every time. The tides are absolutely insane here and they're very dangerous. 10 meters of movement. Right now is low, but where I am on the riverbed, soon it'll be three, four times over my head and I'd be underwater. And it is going to come absolutely screaming in. So I've got to make my move and get to somewhere safe before that happens. Wow. Ah, he's got one claw. Man, they must all be bluing, or there must be heaps of little crocodiles up the system that are like nipping away at them or something. But I'll put him back where he was, and hopefully we find a giant green, like a big, big fella, and also a couple more full ones of these. Mate, hello, wake up. <laughs> he was so snoozing. Hey, buddy, I'm gonna leave you. You got your female there. You have a good one. Ah! That was so close. That's karma for waking him up. The tides literally changed direction and starting to rip this way. So I think the tide is pushing in fast. <sighs> Look at this. It's a hand line. I'm gonna keep that and if I find any disregarded line, I might be able to use that for something later on. That's a bloody beauty. I severely underestimated how high the tide was gonna come up. We obviously set this up at low tide. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm in. This is it. Just take my bag off and I'll explain exactly what's going on. I want to find a crocodile. I'm not sure if I'm gonna because if they don't want to be seen, they don't want to be seen. Two, I'm obviously living off whatever I can catch out here. So I'm after a giant crab. That's my main priority. But there's two types of crab. The brown crab, which we do not get at home. I've never eaten one before. And the green crab, the monster, the big one, which we do get at home, but I've never caught one this far. And if I get both, I want to do a taste comparison. All right, here we go.
no luck with the hand spear, but that tide is absolutely pumping out now. So in a few hours, it should be dry and low tide and it can go exploring into the night. Actually, while I'm waiting, I'll give you guys a quick tour of the tree tent. Basically starting behind me, there's a little access here there. I've made a little, as you've seen when I climbed up, I've made a little in and out. There's also this little stump here that I think I can get in and out, but it's pretty flimsy, so I'm not sure. Anyway, this is the main entrance here. You've got your zip, you've got your mozzie screen to keep all the mozzies at night. It's gonna be very, very interesting here, but more on that later. We're just gonna have to find out together. I've got my bag inside my bag. I've just got my standard stuff, knife, flint. I've got my bottle of water, my mask in there, adventure shirt, YBS shirt, youngboss.co if you guys want any of that good stuff. Um, radio, because of course, like always on these crazy missions that I do, the boys are here, D-Man and my dad are backing me up. Right, you can quickly get out, go! <laughs> What was that? The radio! <laughs> Moving forward here, I've got my sleeping bag for later on. And of course, a pillow. It's like a real strong canvas. In between is obviously like a suspended line. So on that part, it's pretty hard. But either side here, no joke, it is so soft and comfy. This is a very beautiful, unique and special part of the world in Australia. You can't just be going around doing whatever you want. You need permission from the traditional owners or those guys that, you know, live around here. And of course, I've done that. I think this is going to be one of the best videos ever so hang around <laughs> so midnight tonight is the other high tide but it's a whole meter less than this it's like an eight meter or nine meter tide it's 10 right now which is good because i do not want to get my bum chewed by a big hungry crocodile that's like what the hell is that that crazy australian guy up in a tree tonight? i've been chilling here for an hour or so and it is so comfy i'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight if nothing goes wrong which i mean there's so much that can go wrong but Beautiful temperature. I'm chilling. Look at this view. It's actually unbelievable. So good. Well, the time has come to make a move. I'm excited, nervous. I've never explored this area, let alone at night. Whew. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. Look at that. It's just creeping down. <laughs> so it's got a boot around this corner and there's all these creek systems it's a bit of a jog but i should get there as that sun's kissing the horizon oh the drone's gonna be following me the boys are in tow let's bloody go i'm so keen to try get a brown and a green crab i've never eaten a brown before and i want to compare them oh to be a dream come true so much sketchy when there's crocodiles here like the feeling the feeling Huge. Oh, that claw is almost the size of my hand. Hey, what oh, scared me? Something just hit me on the foot then. There's, this is a crop creek, so I'm a little bit on edge more than normal, but an absolute monster and exactly what we wanted. If it had its other nipper hanging out there, it would have been a monster. So I will put this guy back, believe it or not. Oh, it's missing all its legs too. Look at that. From a while probably in a battle with a bigger crab. Like it's missing one whole side there. What, he toes? Hey! Run! <laughs> there is a big crab sitting right here underneath this. Whoop, spotted me. Dug in. <sighs> All right, beautiful crab, missing a claw there. So, <laughs> I wonder if you can hear that. It freaked me out. I thought it was someone moaning. Oh my god, this place is so scary at night with crocs and different sounds and stuff. But anyway, I'm gonna put this guy back. See if I can find something absolutely perfect. 
Yeah, you can get back in your hole, mate. Go on. Here he goes. See you later. Oh, so cool. Good night, Broda. This is it. Hope you don't bump into any big lizards. I'm hoping the water is only going to be like this deep. <laughs> and a cock doesn't buy me in the bum tonight. <laughs> <laughs> No, it looks pretty comfy. No, it's there. real good, man. Honestly, it's so comfy. It's gonna be so comfy. I've slept in a lot, 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 lot worse. So, thank you, feet. There's <laughs> any way. All right, that, that's enough. <laughs> You're only on the radio, anyway. Come rescue me. Your job. Keep me safe. Radio check. Radio check. I sleep on this side. Like, nice and out. Check her up. All right, good night. Hi! <laughs> How's that, Dad? Oh, that scared me. That just smacked me in the butt. Ah, uh, zip this up. So, lights out. First thing tomorrow morning, we're bloody on. Oh man, it's so dark. Good bloody morning, everyone. It is game day. That sun is just rising over my shoulder right now. The tide is pushing out. I should have three or four hours of dead low to try and get something. I am so pumped. We're getting stuck into this nice and early. I slept like an absolute baby last night. The tide didn't even push that deep. It was absolutely perfect. So, let's get this show on the road, baby. Woo! That sun's just coming up over there and I'm on the move. The tide has finally got low enough for me to cut across the other side and follow this creek system in. But the tides are so big here, 10 meter tides. I don't want to get caught, so I've got to maximize all my time. So I'm giving it legs. Let's get this. Oh, good morning, everyone. Hi, oh, is that a crocodile floating there? See that? Just there. Oh, I think it could be. All right, I'm going this way. Oh. Hit some deep mud here. Just gonna push through it. All right, there we go. What the hell? The sticks move, the leaves moving. What is that? Is that a spider or a crab? Holy shit, it's got the, it's using the leaf as camouflage. That's crazy. That is wild, it's attached to his back there. The leaf crab. All right, have a good one, mate. See ya. There's so many barnacles and oysters and sharp shells and stuff in here. It's getting a little bit rockier, so I've got to watch my steps. So I've got to back off the pace a little bit. But now I can start searching for crabs, sea creatures, crocs, and all that good stuff. Ooh, I'm so excited about this. The sun's literally just come up and we got all day, all night, all day, all night, high tide, all night. So this big hole here potentially has this wild looking fish in it, but I don't know if anyone's home. This hand line I found down the beach earlier on, and I want to show you what lives in there. It's pretty bloody cool. Here she goes. Yep. On. Got something. Oh, it's going hard. Almost there. Righto. Look at that! Ah, ah, ah. This beautiful creature right here is a jawfish and they live in these holes and like an ambush predator, boom! They come up with these big jaws and teeth. Whoa! <laughs> this crab right here looks normal, it's on the move, but it's not. It's super, super soft, it's a female. And whenever you pick it up, she'll act dead. They're so soft that they cannot bite you or anything. Should either be getting bigger or getting ready to breed. So I'll put it back down, look, so she's acting dead, but I'll put it straight back down here. <laughs> so tricky, hey? 
Look at this. Ooh. Hello. Eee, crabby, crabby crabs. This looks good. Real good. I literally can be anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. Big hole. No one home. Another big hole. No one home. Wow, this is cool. Again, can you imagine right now that I would be fully underwater like that's how insane this is there's a crab over there see it crab over here man i've got to take my time literally everywhere i'm looking something is happening right now look crab there is it dead or alive i think it's dead nuts no, alive it's just a small one he's been looks like he's been in a blue with a bigger crab he's missing his claw there and he's very slow. But wow, that means that there's a monster around. And up here, there's a little shell. Look at this. There we go, a smaller one, absolutely been demolished by a big one. All the legs have been eaten off it and uh, been absolutely smashed. Oh, am I in like giant crab kingdom? It's like a big battle happening and I'm in the thick of it. Oh, I'm starting to get excited. Look at this place. It's honestly a big mangrove forest. I get so excited about places I've never... Before I've seen enough crap, I've never been. Oh, oh. big crab hole. Big crab hole that goes too deep. Mangrove forest, take me somewhere I've never been. Monster crabs and big crocodiles. I love this shit so much. <laughs> Got to be careful where I step, cause I don't want to lose my toe. What the hell's happening up there? All right, here we go. Around behind. Oh, he's going deep. Got to get around behind him. Bring him out. Without getting bitten. This is where it gets really difficult. When you can't see. Put this in my mouth. He's digging deep. I got the boys to also get some feed for, so this is one of maybe two, three, four. Put him out of his misery and keep this adventure going. Yes! Woo! So what he's done is he's got his claw around a mangrove root inside. If you poke your GoPro in here, over my shoulder on this side, you'll see. Oh, yeah. It's got his claw here, but his other bigger claws are wrapped on a, on a root. Here he comes. Oh, you got him. Kind of. Come on, mate. Hey, uh, bugger. Hey, uh, hey, uh. Hiya! Oh, what a mission! Finally, though! Whew. It's super rare to catch these at home, so I haven't actually eaten one before. So I'm so, so excited about this. We normally get the big greens, which I'm still after. Righto, right, right. I'm just gonna search this area behind me here for a crab or something. Um, I haven't really explored it yet. So, heading towards the ocean. All of these rocks here like this, there's a chance that there could be like a big buck that's made a nest in there or anything really. Fish, cod, stonefish, blue ring octopuses. Let's 
so I'd look around. Ow! Ow! It's been a bloody long journey leading up to this moment. Behind the scenes, we'd been on the road for weeks. We traveled way up north in search of the giant crocodile and we found some absolute monsters. We traveled through some communities, visiting the schools and saying g'day. There were so many beautiful people around there. Shout out to all you guys. And it led us to this moment. We've been looking for days and days, miles and miles of country crossed to find the giant crab. And you won't believe where we bloody found it. These things here are bloody so sharp on your bare feet. Now punch through. Ah! I'm on, baby. Ah. Yeet! Oh, it's a big crab there. He's seen me though. Oh, it's a big crab there. I just need to find a little stick. This is gonna take my fingers off. I can't believe we found one so quick. Literally right behind the tent. Oh. Woo! Finally! I got one! He sort of going in and out of this like cave he's got on that side and this side. I think it was just a battle of Stanima. He's tired now, so I've got him. But that right there is an absolute monster. Perfect eating size, green crab. Absolutely insane. Finally, can cook up a good feed. I think this will do as tinder. I hope it will. There's not much else around to grab. This is the deadest stuff I can find. Just gonna go along the beach and collect as many of these sticks as I can. There's actually sticks everywhere. They drift up. It's just like driftwood and uh, it feels pretty dry so it should be good. Because I've dug this out a bit, it's dry, it's wet here. So I'm just gonna try and keep my tinder as dry as possible because it's not the normal tinder that I'd use. It's the only thing I can find along this beach. Just finish making my fire base. Nice and hard. It's just like a little wall in case the wind comes in. So I've caught two types of crabs this trip. The brown and the green. And I'm really interested to see if there's a like a taste comparison and what that is. So we're gonna cook both the brown and the green in the coals here and have a taste test at the end. So hang around for that. So I just wanna be dealing with the driest, deadest stuff. Get rid of the roots, get out of here, arrange it, get out of here. Over the years, I've learnt that preparation in a fire is definitely the key. The more time you spend in prepping it, when it comes to lighting it, hopefully, the easier it is. Small sticks. Come on, baby. Ooh, we got fire, baby. Woo! Finally. Chuck the rest of these bad boys on. I've got her bloody cooking now. Yes! Now that I've got this fire burning, we've packed this wood because I want to minimize how much I take around here. Not that I'm not allowed to make a fire here, but it's just, you know, if we can minimize how much we take, it's always for the better. I thought I'd get the crabs out and show you the difference because I haven't really slowed down yet. This one here is what we call a green crab. 
don't get discouraged by the more darker gray purple color it is a green crab and this one here is the brown crab the nippers sort of give it away even though it's more of an orange color you ought to notice throughout the adventure that i grab crabs that are missing nippers big ones small ones the big big ones i normally let go because they're the dominant breeders and i look for the perfect crab both nippers and you know in between size and this is what these two are oh geez that's so hot that is a proper fire all right, so brown on this side, green on that side, we've got to remember they are, that is cooking. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up the fire around the outsides and keep putting the coals underneath, and eventually I will flip them. Probably 10, 15 minutes on each side, depending on how hot this fire stays. I've just sort of monitored, but it is absolutely cooking right now. Look at that, it's doing a wee. Woo! Too hot. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to like push some sand over those crabs to cool them down and cook them a little bit longer. Five more minutes like that. I'll dig them up, go give them a wash in the ocean and we'll give these a taste test. It's really 50-50 whether I buggered this or not, but fingers crossed. Look at the color of them now. Look at that, proper orange. So that just like cooled them down as well as kept cooking them slowly. Ooh. It's the first one. Oh, burn my legs. The time has finally come. Dad and D-Man are joining me. They've been working just as hard as me behind the scenes. This one here is the green and this is the brown. So first of all, I'm going to grab the nipper out of each. That one there. Oh, and that one there. And Dad, you can just start eating that crab if you want. So I'm going to do the taste test, the comparison. So I'll crack it open. And also, I don't know if I've cooked this very good, by the way. It's very hard to control it in the fire. It's chipping away pretty good. All right, there we go. Yes! At least I cooked it good. And then the brown, which I've never tasted. You need this, don't you? I'll crack it open and get it. Yours. All right, and this one also cooks pretty good. Absolutely beautiful. It tastes better than one to get home. You can eat that. Yeah, I'm just seeing the result. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Is that the green? That's the green, same as what we get at home. And now this one here is the brown. Never tasted this before. They cook basically the same. Oh, God. That is good. All right. Brown mud crab. Whoa. There's a pretty distinctive taste. Different. I wasn't expecting that. Two more. Oh, I need to try it again. <laughs> I reckon the green is sweeter and nicer. Yeah, I reckon it is. The green's got just this little bit more sweeter taste. Both absolutely beautiful, but the brown has more of a, a flatter taste. Similar, but for me, it's definitely the green mud crab has taken the cake. We're gonna do absolutely destroy this feed. We're starving, we've been hard at it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We put a lot of effort into this one, traveled many, many miles. That's a bloody wrap, baby. Yo! I've lost count of which one's what now. <laughs>
<laughs> that first one was beautiful. Yeah, I think the the, the grain. The, yeah, it was hell good. 